Okay, great. So nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> ¿Cómo está todo? Cuéntame. Soy, like I said, así, así. Um, oh, okay. okay. So we don't say así, así. Okay, yeah. así, así so, is the literal translation for so, so. Okay. Okay. But it's literal. So it doesn't work in this context. The actual translation would be más o menos. Like more or oh, less. Más o menos. Okay. Uh, so okay. más o menos. Más o menos. Sí. Okay. Oh, Dios. Más so más o menos. Con mucho gusto. Hey folks, this is Adam from 911 Studios. I'm gonna level with you here. I am blown away with SpanishVIP.com, an absolutely amazing website. It's a great system and it's a learning system. I just did a one hour trial. Um, my teacher's name was Angie and Angie did an amazing job kind of refreshing me on my Spanish speaking skills. And if you're looking to become fluent, more fluent, or just learn a little bit of Spanish for your travels, SpanishVIP.com is absolutely amazing. I'm sold on it. Like, I'm really excited. Angie did a fantastic job. So this is a one-on-one. -on -one. You're having pretty much like a Zoom meeting with somebody face-to-face. -face, and they will essentially, in the trial, which is absolutely free, go to the website, do an hour of a free Spanish lesson, basically. The first hour, what they did with me and what they'll probably do with you is um, they assess your Spanish speaking skills. So they'll say, hey, how much Spanish do you know? I said, I took a couple years in high school, which was 20 plus years ago. Um, I have some Spanish vocabulary, vocabulary, <laughs> anyway, um, but I don't remember how to say certain things. Like I don't know how to conjugate and I don't, I don't remember certain things about Spanish. And she said, that's great, okay, let's, let's go. And so she walked me through, she said, all right, what do you do in, when you go to Mexico or what do you go to? And I said, I go to resorts. So, she walked me through, all right, so introduce yourself to your driver at, the, at going to the resort. And I said, my number, mi nombre es um, Adam. And then they, she said, okay, well then I would say, hola, my name is, and she would go through it. And what she would do, is, and my Spanish isn't good, so I don't wanna, I'm nervous saying it in front of you. Um, she would say, I would say this, how would you respond? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, let me think. And she would help me through it, she would help me um, if I, she would ask a question and she'd say, okay, now I asked you, cuantos, whatever. Um, like, what's the cost of the ride? Cuantos cost, costo es, or whatever. And then okay. maybe that's Cuanto like, vale la carrera? Vale es the verb for valer, apparently. Exacto. Which is like, vale es valer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This isn't a literal expression, okay? So if you would like to ask for the cost... Cuanto costa, co Muy cuesta, bien. cuánto cuesta, okay? Cuesta. Or you can also cuesta. say cuál es el costo, because cost and costo yeah. are similar, okay? So yeah. cuál es el costo de la carrera? Right. Okay. Well, Muy bien. El costo. Cuál es el costo? Okay. Y yeah. yo puedo decir um, vale 500 pesos mexicanos. Uh -huh. Sí. So what will you answer? Um, bien. Gracias. Okay. Something like yeah, that. Like, good. Thank you. Sí. Um, okay. And what about if I ask, uh, ¿cuánto tiempo lleva en México? Uh, what temperature is is it in Mexico, right? No, oh, what? no. But almost. Tiempo. What time? Tiempo. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, so is that, um, is that what time do we arrive? Oh, no. Ah. So, ¿cuánto? You remember when, cuánto? When? Is that when? Mm -mm. When oh, is cuando. Ugh. Okay, cuánto, cuando. Yeah. Okay. okay. So cuánto. cuánto is how much. Okay. Okay, or how many? Time. Time. Mm -hmm. Cuánto example, tiempo time? lleva. Time? Okay. This Are is you in Mexico? Expression. You're asking me that. Okay. Yeah, I'm asking how much time have yeah, you been? How much time been? am I in Mexico? Mm -hmm. Oh, have been. Have you been? Mm. Yeah. That yeah. was that was the actual class I prepared for today. But after you okay. answered this question, we I explained deeper on that, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Um so um so like I guess easily I would just say something like tres tres días. Okay, tres yeah. días. Okay, yeah. and if I ask cuánto tiempo 
va a quedarse. Okay, so I'm going to take context clues and what we learned from last time is how much time um, are you staying here? But uh, I don't know how what... we did. Yeah, so what is quedarse? Uh, is that right? Yeah, quedarse is to stay. Quedarse. But we have this small particle uh, which mm -hmm. makes quedar a reflexive mm -hmm. verb. Reflexive okay. verbs are used when the action we want to express is going to sure. be uh, taken for the subject to the right. subject. And then maybe I'd say cuando or cuanto and she would describe to me the difference of the two words. And we just went back and forth for an hour where I'm pulling up Spanish words that I knew from 20 years ago, and she's helping me incorporate them into sentences. And she's showing, and pretty soon I'm um, saying, okay, well, she's asking, well, why are you only here for a couple days? Like, how long are you staying for? And I'd be like, tres dias. And um, she goes, well, why are you here for so short? And she would go back and forth completely, um, back and forth between English and Spanish for her. If I said something wrong, she would correct me in a positive way. She'd be like, okay, let me show you why we say um, uh, trabajo um, instead of whatever, tra instead of trabajar, or whatever it would be. And we'd go through each little step, whether it's past tense, present tense, future tense, whatever the issue is. And again, I'm not here to teach you Spanish, but it, like, it was a fun conversation. It was fun to have somebody who's um, fluent in Spanish fluent in English, and they're walking you through how to have a conversation in Spanish and teaching you the parts that you don't know. You know, if it's about time, you want to say this before it. The infinitive is going to be this. And you're like, oh, okay. And explaining what an infinitive is or whatever shortcomings you have, they're walking you through it. And she said, here's the fun thing. She said, student, she said she was very skeptical of Spanish VIP too when she started. She, I mean, she took her entire life, 20 years of her life, learning English. And she's like, and these people are supposed to pick up Spanish in an hour a day. And she said, you know what? She's been there for six months. And some of her students who started as beginners six months ago, who have signed up for the daily classes six days a week, are having hour long conversations in Espanol with her, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm sold, like I'm going to tell you that if Spanish VIP wants to sponsor this channel, if they want a follow-up video in a month, I will take the classes for a month and I'll come back to you with my Spanish in a month. And if they want to do it for three months, I'm hoping I'll do it for three months. I'm very excited. I'm sold based on doing the class. Like I, this is absolutely no BS. I'm super excited about Spanish VIP. I think it's amazing. And the price, like they've got group classes. I think it's classes of six or eight, um, somewhere in that range. I don't know the exact. I'll put the prices below, but you're talking $50, $60, $70 a month. Reasonable price, right? Very reasonable price. Don't quote me exact prices because prices change and they'll run deals or whatever. It's a reasonable price. Individual classes. That's where I wanted to be. I loved it. I sat there. I sat with her. I learned. I loved it. Angie was amazing. Angie, I hope you're watching this. Leave me a comment below in Espanol, por favor. It's like 100, 120 bucks a month. It's super cheap. When you think about that, you get up to six classes a week, an hour at a time. That's like 24, 25 hours a month. Say for 100 bucks, if you sign up for three months, I think it's 300 bucks. Think about that. You're talking four bucks an hour is what you're paying for a college educated Spanish teacher to teach you Spanish every day. Now, and it's at your pace. So if you want homework, they'll give you homework. They'll say, go watch a movie in Spanish and try to learn it. Or they'll give you custom lessons. They, they put stuff on screen and they'll share the screen with you and they'll write down, here's what you said. Here's what it should have been. Here's why it should have been this. So you're having a conversation back and forth on Zoom. You've got documentation on screen. It's a live person, four bucks an hour. What? Have you ever considered trying to hire a Spanish teacher it's gonna be 50 bucks an hour. It's gonna take to cost you $10,000 to learn Spanish. Literally, sign up for six months. There's no guarantee that you do it at your own pace. But if you pace yourself fast, you're learning Spanish, you've got a good background, you could be having hour long conversations with your instructor in six months for under a grand, like 600 bucks. Absolutely amazing. Like, 
I'm not overselling this. I'm not underselling this. This is my honest opinion here. It's really cool. It's a really great opportunity. It's a very cost efficient. They've got a great process. Um, the teacher I had, Angie, she was amazing. And it's a cool experience. You look at the website and there's positive reviews left and right. Um, please just go check out the website. Do your free trial. That's uh, like no cost to you. Go do the one hour free trial and see what I'm talking about. I think if you did it, you tried it out, you would be a believer. It, it took me one lesson. I was like, well, that's it. I'm learning Spanish now. Um, I think the biggest thing is if you can fit an hour into your day, you can learn Spanish for a very reasonable cost. No doubt the coolest experience, the coolest new thing that I've seen, I'm absolutely sold. SpanishVIP.com. Go check it out for yourself. Click the link in the description below. This, um, if you notice, like, I'm not, like, selling, 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 get it, get it, get it. No, this is just me being very honest and sincere. Angie was amazing. The prices are unbelievable. Um, you're getting somebody who speaks Spanish fluently, who speaks English fluently, and somebody who's a trained teacher that's going to show you every step of the way how to learn a language. And maybe make a friend. Maybe you have some fun with it, right? So go ahead and sign up. You won't be disappointed. I, I, will, I will show you some of my Spanish lesson at the end of this. Thanks again for watching. Click like and subscribe. We have new videos often, folks. Pretty much all the time. Adios, amigos.